A ceiling fan is designed to push air downwards, while the standing fan is designed to suck air in the air from the back and pushes it forward. Now, imagine these fans without blade. A ceiling fan without a blade would not be able to push air downward and a standing fan would not be able to push air forward. But there is a fan called the Dyson fan and when you look at this fan, there is no blade you can see. It does have blade but the blade is hidden under which is why so many people call it a bladeless fan. There are a lot of questions about this fan. How does this fan work without visible blade? How does a fan with a blade hidden right under gets more air to supply out and unlike the standing fan that the blade is mounted right onto the motor which allows it to suck in air from the behind and pushes it forward how is this Dyson fan is able to take in air and pushes it forward in this video I'm going to explain everything about the Dyson fan I've made a well detailed car design so I could explain this to you and show you everything you need to know about how this fan actually works. I've also taken the liberty to 3D print one so as to show you that this Dyson fan does actually work. Before we get started, please like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. To understand how this fan works, we should first take a look at all of the components that make up this fan. The first component is the upper parts, then the motor housing which houses the electric motor. The next component is the fan, which is attached to the electric motor. And we have the casing, which covers both the motor and the housing fan. The last part is the button case, which has all for hair inlets. All of these parts assembled together. Let's now take a look at how it actually works. Firstly, let's take a deep dive into the upper parts. The first thing you'll notice is the hole at the base, which its basic function is to let air pass through. The air passage leads inside and it creates a ring of slit around the part, which is where the hair coming in escape outwards. With that in mind, when the fan starts to rotate, it sucks in air from the bottom case and this air goes up through the side of the motor housing into the hole at the base of the upper part. The air is then forced out through the ring of slits around the fan. But this airflow cannot be sufficient. As the air is being pushed out through the slits, it drags along the surrounding hair which creates an area of low pressure at the back of the fan. This in turn starts to pull in air from the back of the fan. And the air exiting the ring contains air from outer region, which in turn multiplies the air supply. And this is how the bladeless fan works. Now that you know how this works, I printed all of the parts in PLA so I could test if this will actually work. So right now the fan is done, I have soldered to it a USB cable so as to power it as these 9 volt batteries don't last very long and now it can be powered with a power bank with or just by plugging it to the side of my system. It does make a lot of noise because of friction and because the blade is not placed very well which causes it to wobble 
and it makes a lot of noise but this is a very minor problem as I can just open up the fan and replace the blade and there you have the so-called bladeless fan working and it gives that ergonomic look to the desk and it produces decent amount of air if the fan had not been wobbling it would have even produced more thanks for watching i'll see you on the next one subscribe